Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's try a few multiplications that contain radicals. Again, we use the distributive property, which means that here we have two terms in this binomial, two terms in this binomial, which means we take the first term and multiply it times each of the terms in the second binomial. We take a sec second term and multiply it by each of the two terms in the second binomial. So let's see what that looks like. So this is equal to five times the square root of 3 times the square root of the 2. And then we multiply this times this, so we get 5 times 4, which is 20 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Then we multiply these two together, that's minus the square root of the 2 times the square root of the 2. And multiply these two together, that would be minus 4 times the square root of the 2 times the square root of 3. Once you feel comfortable, you don't have to write this. You can immediately go to the next step and simply write this as 5 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 2. That is simply 5 times the square root of 3 times 2, which is 6. So you can actually skip that step once you feel comfortable. On the next one, we're going to simplify this. So you realize that when you multiply the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, that's simply 3. So we get 20 times 3 minus, this would be 2 and minus 4 times the square root of 2 times 3, which is 6. Now simplifying this a little bit more, this gives us 5 times the square root of 6 plus 60 minus 2 minus 4 times the square root of 6. And now we're going to combine like terms. Notice that this and these are like terms because they both contain the square root of 6. 5 minus 4, which is 1 times the square root of 6, or simply the square root of 6, and 60 minus 2 is minus 58. And so that would be the simplified format of that product. Over here, we have a binomial squared, which in essence means that we take the binomial and multiply it times itself. Sometimes it makes it easier when we write it in this format first. And now we'll go ahead and multiply this out. So we have 3 times the square root of x times 3 times the square root of x. That gives us 9. And the square root of x times the square root of x, that's simply x. And sometimes it also helps if we draw little arrows. So again, we can see what we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply these two together, and we're going to multiply these two together like that. So the next multiplication will be this times this. So that gives us plus 3 times the square root of x times the square root of x is simply again x. And I multiply these two together, so that gives us plus 3 times the square root of x times the square root of x, which is simply x. And then we multiply these two together, the square root of x times the square root of x, that's simply x. So if you feel comfortable, just simply skip directly to that step. Now we see that they're all like terms, so we add them together. 9 plus, plus 6 is 15, plus 1 is 16, so this is equal to 16 times x as our final result of that product. And that is how it's done.